My name is Dr. Kristen Downey and I work for Sterling Pharma Solutions and I am a senior analytical chemist. So we generally deal with clients that have a compound, so generally a white powder in the pharma industry, everything's a white powder and it's testing those white powders to a level that we're confident that it wouldn't hurt somebody. So that's quite a large chunk that you would be looking at document, technical documents, making sure that all the calculations are correct. It's probably one of the more crucial roles because if you've made something on plant, how do you know what you've made? We're often given methods from customers to say, well, we would like you to use this particular method to analyze for this particular compound. We have to prove that it's scientifically sound and that it's a, it's a viable method. They have a set of standards that you need to achieve to say that that method's validated. So that's quite a big chunk of my tasks of technically reviewing documents. So traditionally, a senior analyst has been a more experienced analyst. It's been on the bench for about 15 years. As a senior analyst, I'm point of contact for the customers. I have a small team of analysts to coordinate. So if instruments are breaking down or are we having um, interfering peaks, if they couldn't solve it themselves, then they would come to me and say, I've got this issue, what can I do? Also, when we've got problematic methods, I usually put my lab coat on and see if I, I can solve the issues on that. So we have a 24-hour, 365-day-a-year shift lab, um, which supports plant. Once all of the shift lab analysis has been done and said that it, it's reached the criteria for a pass, then it would be discharged and given to QC and my department, the ADG. Then we would do full testing to make sure that there's nothing harmful in the material supplied. Um, then we would hand the data pack. Some data packs can be that thick in terms of all the analysis, which would then go to operation quality. Operation quality would be signing off to say that this material's fit, and then it would head off to the warehouse to ship it off around the world. I suppose from a little girl, I always liked playing with them, um, like chemistry sets, and I um, always found chemistry and biology the most interesting subjects. Picked the, the typical chemistry, biology, math, sea levels. Sunderland were offering a relatively new degree of chemical and pharmaceutical science. The North East's quite blessed with lots of pharma, so I thought it, it seems quite a, quite a good role to go into. The QC role I was doing just after graduation, that is routine testing. It's where you learn your craft. It's a very highly skilled job. You have to be very precise with your weigh-ins and your preparation of solutions. So it is really where you learn how to become a good analyst. And there's lots of analysts on site who have gone on to be in an quality operations manager, business development people, so very on the customer basis front. You will find analysts everywhere. <laughs> I'd probably say do a first or second year undergrad, do a placement year. You're being supported by people who've been in the industry a long time. Um, you're given projects of your own to develop and work through. Um, you see a, a large cross-section of a company without the pressure.